Alright, so we had a little bit of a technical difficulty there uh, trying to do this, so we're going to do it again and just show you what's all going on. Alright, so you come to this chest, and if you see right there, there is a trap that is going to be on this chest. If you look up top, there are some trap doors that will drop that giant spider. It's better off um, deactivating this lock because that spider has nothing on it of use, and it is a BITCH to beat. But if you do not worry about that chest, you will get a set of dwarven boots or whatever is in there. It will be the same thing at the end of all this. So if you want to come back later and deactivate it and try to, you know, get get whatever's out of there, you can. But if you find yourself being encumbered, don't worry. Um, you'll have a set of boots the same at the end. Pull the switch and you'll be able to come through these doors. Continue running backwards. You'll have or back here. I don't know why I said backwards. Uh, You'll have some Draugr that will be right there. Just pull them back into those guillotines and uh, let them do their work. And you'll have some more just right up this bend. There will be two here. Um, something I'll show you I do with my Atrian Arcs in a second will help you out if you are a Conjurer. But there will also be a Draugr Scourge right here. And right here is the switch to open these doors. If you come back here, there's going to be another Draugr Scourge. Defeat him, and your second vial will be there. Take all of these common soul gems off of this. Reason being, if you do not, they will breathe fire on you when you walk past them, and if you don't want to get burned, um, or if you're trying to fight someone, they could be used as a helpful trap, but I took them all away. Something about this little area right here, for some reason the Draugr that are down there, um, they will not come past this point, so stay right here and uh, use your bow or your destruction skills to beat them. And I'm going to take all these orcish arrows, because I did not even know that they were down here, and I do need those. Okay, so they will actually be right here. And I did not notice, but there is a trap right there that will help you out uh, in defeating them. But continue to run, pull the switch, open this door come back this way and this is what I was talking about with my conjuration skills so I can summon an atrian arc of course and um, you'll have like a draugr right or they both are I believe because one of them will come out of that uh, that casket over there but if you charge up your conjuration skill and just shoot it right there you'll kind of block them off from coming in this direction or just shoot it on the bridge and um, that'll keep them from from coming and attacking you and you can shoot them with arrows and use your destruction skills here okay and also if you come down to this point this is a very critical area because um, this is the way that I defeated all of the um, the Draugr that are up here of course I'll show you in a second what I actually did but if you kill these spiders and go to take this iron claw here make sure you jump backwards because I'll show you right here I'll jump on top of it and jump off of it Alright, it'll shoot some flames at you. That can be used as a helpful trap. And if you run up here, this is where all four of the Draugr are going to be. There's going to be two Scourge Draugr and one Death Lord. The other one is a lesser one, and he's not much of a threat, but the other ones, of course, are. Um, so, this is where your last vial is. You pick it up, and these will drop. I stepped on top of that. That's why they're, uh, this is up here now. But... You'll get your dragon shout from there. Dwarven boots will be inside of that. Maybe something different for you guys. And I'm going to actually open this because I, in my last commentary I couldn't find this door for some reason. But it's here now. And so we're going to run up here and just open up this door. It's a quick way to get to the top. Alright, come on loading screen. But it's a good thing, I guess, that I actually did fail, uh, because had I not, um, I wouldn't have known what happened after this point, and also um, wouldn't have known what was going to come out of this, or I would, well, I don't know what I'm trying to say. I guess I'm trying to say, it, had I not failed, I wouldn't have been able to do this again and know where that door was at, so you guys wouldn't have to travel all the way back. But in those doorways, what I was saying is say like you were running around in a circle, just drop your little atrium arc like that and just continue running. Um, 
But here is the ghost. I will let this play out, what he says. You found the vessels. I was worried that I had sent you to your death. In life, Hevnorak drained his own blood from his body. His goal was to transfer his power back into himself after death, becoming a powerful lich. The vessels contain that very blood. Empty them, and you remove any chance he has of regaining his former powers. Very well. Empty the vessels into the sconce near the throne. Then sit in the throne. When you have done so, I will unbind Hevnorak. He will awaken in a weakened state. But the Lich is still to be reckoned with. Be ready. Alright, so as you just heard, um, we're going to have to fill these things with blood. And I'm actually going to save this right quick after I do this because if I die, I want to be able to continue on and show you how to defeat him or how I did. So let's save this real fast. And I'm, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to make a part three of this. And then part three will be me fighting him. So I'll see you in part three.